We have Christmas coming up and we've got very special days and we've got children's school holidays. So how are you organising your parenting arrangements for the children over the holiday period? Here's a few tips that I find are very helpful for people when they're going into a recent separation and trying to work through that whole school holiday period issue. Number one, when you're going into a negotiation about your children, remember this is about your children. It is not about your fight or your separation from your partner. So what I recommend for people is this, you always have your children's best interest at the forefront of every decision you make. As a standard rule of thumb, for my clients I always say, if the child, if, if what you're just doing is in the best interest of the child, then you do it. If you ask yourself, is this really in the best interest of the child, and I don't mean for me, but for the child, and the answer is no, don't do it. If the answer is maybe, don't do it. You, whatever decision you make really needs to have their hearts and their focus um, at the forefront. Now remember, Christmas Day is a really, really special time for your children, but on the flip side of that, it also is a massively emotional time where the, it where it becomes quite heightened as to the fact that you are no longer a family unit as such. You're not a collective cohesive unit, which means for your children, uh, they will be experiencing the separation of your family more than ever at this time of year. So with that, what we don't wanna do is have you taint a very special occasion with fighting and hostile disputes, etc., between mums and dads. So again, remembering that has to be your focus in terms of how you decide. Some really good tips for going through and dividing up your days, etc., is for holiday, as a standard common trait, is people do half of the holiday each. So one will get the first half, one might get the second half, and it swaps each year. The other one is what they'll do to do is divide up your Christmas day period from and, and include it from 9 a.m. on Christmas Eve through to 5 p.m. on Boxing Day with the changeover happening on Christmas Day. It, there's nothing that says you have to do it all those ways. There's those just options available for you. Um, but remembering whatever it is, what is in the best interest of your children because what we don't want to do is ruin this time. It's very important. Um, I hope that those tips are helping for you. If not, jump onto our website. We'll have, we have heaps more information there that will assist you in this process. Otherwise, Merry Christmas and I wish you the most beautiful and peaceful New Year.